Production in action. <laughs> uh, clothes? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> outfit. <laughs> oh, outfit. Uh, Outfit, uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I got the jogging right, right? Yeah, yeah, you got jogging. So why why are we still here? And then we got plus one. I think we're in the same spot. Yeah, uh, I I gotta watch the game, GG, for now. Uh, let's watch and laugh. That was, you know what, we won't talk about it. Well, that's a Fisher and a half from GH. <laughs> get the nether blast down trying to give him move speed but the body blocks from miracle uh, oh, wow. what do we got to nandy trying to get in front of him but nandy under his tier one safe and sound treants can't chase him down that was incredibly close uh, who's on brain well, sorry the greeks and wish i mean nsf does not have the the best damage at level one miracle void okay mind control one. profit world's better I profit have the gold for it maybe when he gets those Bounty gold. And an early deal yes, it doesn't miss much. She just goes back to heal, well, so it's okay. Mid -observer. It looks like they're going to try and collect three uh, bounty runes as well. Let's see. We don't want Team Star to lose because we're big fans. To snag that one. Who's big fans yeah, in position uh, of Team Star? To take top river, bottom river, and bottom jungle bounty runes. A very oh good God. start for them. Okay. All right, nice a nice move by Nigma to secure those three bounty runes. Um, your your mid is. Samel was trying to combat him, but GH just <coughs> out mind gaming him. It's impossible to lose tic tac though. I, I meant it as strat. If I press That's control, upsetting. it's lose my camera. Yeah. It sucks. It's annoying. I don't I don't know what Samel was drawing. It looked like a teddy bear or something. It had a cute yeah. little face, a nice little smile. Oh, it's good to see you there. Yeah, they're in the mood, having a bit of a laugh. <laughs> I guess we'll be waiting Born. a little bit longer. Uh, How good is Mind Control Profit? Yeah, looking at this this bottom lane, Mind Control Profit with GH Earthshaker, that is a very scary one. Especially, like you said, Shadow Phoenix spending Fairy Fire. Not having that additional bit. He has bought himself a new one. It's on the He has to be coming. smart now. He's got a pretty long walk down the bottom lane, and he's going to be DP. there after the Creep Waves meet, it looks like. Hmm. Uh, normally, mine control is a retard and just pulls uh, uh, BKB right click, Maelstrom, uh, whatever. Not going boost it's not good this game. He, he wants to basically just like block the way. He has to go utility. And give mind control a good equilibrium in, in the lane. And that's like the most important thing because sometimes you'll see shakers do a multitude of things. They might go boots level one and they focus on just dragging the wave as much as they can. And that's all they want. You might see a stats build where they get some sticks and uh, now, if you go right click, they lose. just try and trade. And that could be an option, honestly. Like Shadowfiend level one is not the biggest threat in the world. So if they wanted to just work together to use tree ants to kind of click the Marcy down, then that could have been an option. But instead he's gonna go for wind lace, which gives him the move speed to kind of War, you know, play away from Marcy a little bit, Just potentially go for that drag if they want, but also getting the, the sticks. Okay, so we're ready now. I got my food. I'm ready to watch. To help block the waves. Uh, yeah, and I... then... Sorry, yeah. go, on. go on. No, 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 please. Please, Gary. I'm just, I'm just, like, trying to play against what you've just said, it's kind of difficult to get pulls off against Earthshaker and Nature's Prophet as well, right? They're very yeah. good at contesting with Fisher and Treants to make sure that while they're upsetting your lane equilibrium, you're not able to reset lane equilibrium yourself. But Miracle getting a bit of frantic <laughs> scribbling on the map. He's gone. Get, let me get started. I'm trying to explain before I ban uh, you. I guess on the other side, like, the, yeah, sure, these are all the highlights of like, how this, this offlane can play. But if they don't get what they want and Brame gets levels, it's really scary to play against. So Marcy is going to have this rebound, like level one, especially knowing uh, she has a name, you know, the stats to really trade properly. You can just rebound onto mind control, hit him. See you in 10 days. To raise level one on, on Shadow Fiend. They're probably See in 10 days, like, Pan Pan. Or him. not. At level two, if they're able to get their level two first as well and not get too many denies from this Treant. Another effective thing is if they hit Energy two blood, first, you have this rebound. You're blood, you, so you get permit, back, of yeah. course. Triple raise, that's, that can be death. That can, yeah, absolutely can. Got a bit disengaged there from the Fisher, of course, but at the same time, like, especially if you somehow end up near the tower, like if Earthshaker steps a little bit out of line, you can just throw him under the tower, get that kill. They definitely might, it definitely looks like they might have to play around some pulls and not just focus on lane domination, because one misstep can cause death against Brain. 
Yeah, then, then you add in the effect of, you know, later on, maybe we see the like, TP rotate in from a Pudge or a Rubik. Even more displacement abilities can, can drag these heroes around. I'm definitely excited to see them move move into all these you know, mid lane, get into the side lanes, get that action going. Dude, this is so can... weird. In game, I can only see DP's drawings on the map. That's why I was so confused what you were talking about. Because now I'm left the stream feed and I can see everyone's. <laughs> yeah, I see everyone is scribbling on the map. <laughs> Yeah, so like, the, tic tac toe. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. GH and Samel were playing it. They had like three rounds of it. Mm. Some of them were cheating. <laughs> so both of them were playing X's, so there were there were no there were no noughts, there were no O's. Do you prefer to be naught or cross? Cross. Yeah, same. Just feels more satisfying putting it next to. It does. Just yeah, put it in that box. Yeah. So, uh, is is there a chance for Pudge to be left alone in that top lane? against the Void and a Chen. Like, I'm looking at this nah. Rubik and wondering if, if he can start rotating around early. Just have to play the lane? You gotta... Okay, you can do it, but you gotta make sure the lane's in a good spot. Because if you can drag... Well, I don't know if you want to drag a wave so much on Chen, uh, on Rubik, sorry, but if you can have the... If the hard camp's unblocked, if you pull it, if you... I don't know, say you use Fade Bolt, right? This is the key tool of laning as a Rubik. It reduces the damage of both enemies and all the creeps. Right? Um, Which means that your lane will naturally push because you're doing damage to creeps and you're weakening their damage against your own creeps. So it will push under uh, the tower. Let's get a vote. When Do you, you want to win? Under a tower, it means uh, that the wave will emotes. naturally begin to push uh, back in the opposite That's appropriate for the team, the as you can see here. Will, you know, kill all the, that wave. The next wave will end Brain up in the tower. Brain is well, And then it just pushes and to the tower. Team Star is like Resident that, Sleeper. Suddenly, I'm speaking way too fast for how long we're being paused. I'm going to really <laughs> I'm going to knock this point. Sorry. <clears throat> so, so, in the top lane, as soon as that tower has killed both waves, now it pushes back. And hmm. when the creeps end up in front of Pudge's tower, he's pretty safe. The he's main, happy. Yeah, he's very happy. The main tool that Nigma have in this top lane is if the creeps are under their tower instead, they have a long lane to chase the Pudge down. And, and he's really, slow. You know, yeah, he's slow. You can do a creep block, all this stuff. I mean, obviously the nice thing about Pudge here is that he can hook the creeps that Chen take over. So that is obviously a lovely a lovely thing there. It means he can't use it aggressively to kill, but it does alleviate some of the pressure. But right. yeah, if he can get this creep wave in front of his tower, he's peachy keen. Can't run him down, can't block him. You know, Rubik's free to go look for the runes. There's also a chance, obviously, that they say, you know... I'm gonna, I'm gonna sack you. Uh, Feels yeah, good, man. Anyway, Welcome, fine. Chat, to my life lessons class. First lesson, don't salt your past the water. Second lesson, don't change clothes every day. Third lesson, you can fight an alligator on land and win. You have to kind of weigh up. If you're manly, you need to add manly. Or do you like the runes? I think in this matchup, it's probably runes. It's runes. Get runes. Alligators are scary, primarily because the element of surprise. Like, like you're like clueless drinking water, for a playmaker and from out of nowhere, and they swap things around, a massive they beast pudge, attacks. Pudge into the off lane. Is, is pudge uh, the second the reason the uh, they're scary is because you usually engage them in water. Got, got displacement for days. Uh, and most animals, including human, have a chrono, exo. bad movement in water. Yeah, they're not playing Meanwhile, the alligator has an enhanced movement in water. Like use, uh, removing these Pugna two things, the element of surprise and its ability to move in water and you're not, uh, on land you have the advantage. Uh, the and, um, so you're like poking, you're baiting, prove me wrong. you're resetting. Yeah. And, and then they want to steal and kind of re-engage because you're going to have, like, hopefully your Rubik's going to steal a Fisher or your Rubik's going to steal Chrono. Yeah, or Exo. I mean, the Chrono obviously doesn't work on the face of Void, but if you can Chrono the rest of his team, what you happens when he bites you? I'm glad you asked. To kind of unload into it. Uh, like so a, a crocodile or alligator are very big. Frame's game idea is going to be to uh, when something generally is bigger, it's slower. Cooldowns of Nigma, uh, so you just walk to the other side of the mouth, right, so meaning the tail. Things. You die to the big wombo combo. Uh, for the alligator to turn around, uh, it'll take time. As as you can. you are aware of this because you're a human and will one. adjust DP accordingly. The same story, 150. So you've got a solid uh, two minutes or so. Then you lay yourself on its back. 
if you really Assuming want to you're not an way, SEA soy, honest, soy boy who weighs like 50 kilo, I think it's because a lot of teams uh, it'll really unable to do its death roll because you're a big strong man. Still take saw, uh, Aquo and he was I cannot roll anymore. He got destroyed in lane. This oh, leaves the alligator helpless with, with you on its back. They should have banned it. But I think, honestly, then you proceed to take your thumbs and stick them in its eyes. Then you just walk away. You and it should dies. win that game. Like Nigma have problems with throwing and not being able to finish out their game. Um and hopefully, like looking you know, for, for Brame here, if they are in that situation, they won't be the ones that throw. I mean whoever uh, wins thoughts? wins, but you when you're playing against Faceless Void, you're clearly on a timer and you have to kind of respect that. No matter how the game's going, he's probably gonna get a maelstrom, he's probably gonna get a Midas. Um, so wrong. Uh, elaborate. They, they try to farm for quite a long time before peaking. Pretty sure I could kill it. Come out until much later. I could get an alligator on land. It's so you just gotta you gotta respect it. Um, Play fast. Yeah, I think this pugna pick was great for that reason. The they we talk about DP how many times all the things she can do, but she is restricted <sighs> to the cooldown of her exorcism. Pugna is not. Pugna can. Whilst he doesn't give Roshan objective, uh, Chad uh, has very bad takes on animals. Uh, and that threat. He's going to probably take mid tower first. He's then going to maybe want to give that mid lane to. You watch too many movies, I think. Or a core that's struggling, and then he'll go take top tower. And they're going to open up the map probably faster than Nigma, depending on how like this Chen plays. Same goes and with the uh, legendary yeah, snake. You compare the 150 second cooldown of Exo to the five second cooldown of Nether Blast, and you're like, yeah, all yeah right. A lot in chat thought an Anaconda can kill there. you, which is kind of weird. Yeah. I've also got the opportunity, of course, we've seen these these Marcy's scaling pretty hard, the phase boots, BKB build, get the Unleash going. But, oh, yeah, but when true. it's in the hands of Spartan, he is he is and always has been the it's time. not even just a position Brody. five, but position six we or position seven like the player. You know, he's very monster. selfless. It's because he very often a white monster. ends up with very little farm. So I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> interested to see how well he does here in getting a bit of gold on this Marcy. For sure. It's definitely my biggest concern every time I see a Marcy. I don't remember the lot. Like, we saw Bignum pop nice. up really hard on his Marcy and get that BKB It's back, a good uh, self-awareness no about how seems to really be, like, humans, especially the white one, has uh, caused terror that amount of farm. in the oh, world okay. with slavery, tried it in the previous destruction. Game, right? he was like brown boots, ogre axe, and uh, then, a lot oh, of I'm white people are BKB monsters. For a, for a long old time. You are right. Yeah. It looks like Brain having a few issues. It's pretty deep. Hopefully they can get that all sorted. Swap the router out or something. <laughs> definitely definitely going to get under the skin of Nigma Galaxy here. They are. They are itching to play. Tick tock. Tick tock. Considering tick -tock. that you are struggling yeah, fighting even, alligators, uh, so easy for you to in the sleepy you keep light to the death What's our observer looking for? What emote is, uh, is Chris going to? He's got the Mupo okay. surprise. Uh, it's hard to make it happen, though. There. You're going to put the... <laughs> most alligators uh, don't <laughs> reside on land in an open field. Just disappear. He's telling Wait, me to disappear. What are you doing? Are you going to type in all chat, Sheepo? No. 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 I just wanted to see oh, if I could. No. I'm too scared to present. Do your something. work. We can <gasps> wait. I can. Glad, gladly long gone are the days when observers and casters can pause. I'm Mr. Admiral. Think back to the, the final pause in the middle of a game, accidentally pressing F9. Mm hmm. I uh. 55 Alex, thank you. At the major, and someone paused at the same time as as that happened. You got so I, I, I got of so scared. I was like panicking. Like, oh shit! I've I've paused the game here. <laughs> this is horrifying. We, what have I done? Going down in history as the caster who ruined a team fight by pausing in the middle of it. Yeah, imagine that. Like you just like feel every single player look angrily down at the chat and see that you pause the game the, the, you were suddenly the ire of everyone yeah three thousand people in the crowd booing oh, <laughs> you know, jeering. I hate you, oh. Oh, worst. oh geez oh well, that ain't good is it oh, what the... oh, it probably is good <clears throat> because did you know that uh, uh, yeah, i hope so i mean the best fix to anything DDoS, mechanical really is just restarted it's been a long time since we've they probably just restarted the router which fixes I'm most really problems. Watch play, so I really, <laughs> I really want to watch this game. Just restart, and it fixes yeah, most problems. The got. You know, we've we've seen Shadowfin popping up. Hugner's definitely a bit of uh, a bit of flair from Wish. He's, he's always been one of those players. You know, I remember him back for five Move years ago or something like. playing in like joined Dota League and stuff like that, where he was he was known as like the Tinker Spam SF player stuff like that. He's always been one of the uh, 
kind of flashy players. Mm, God, yeah, Wishes the Tinker Spell. I completely forgot. Yeah. That, that was like the only thing he was known for for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was, he's, he's grown so much. Turn on cam. Oh, uh, he's coming back from repairment, finally. <laughs> uh, but it's only going to be for subs, though. So you're a blab, so you can't see me. Yeah, oh, we, we should reply. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tab in. I'll stand in, guys. Don't worry. I, I'm, uh, I'm a great pudge player. Oh my goodness gracious me! But yeah, I think, I th I think some some parallels between uh, Wish and Topson, especially now he's got the, the Pugna picked up, right? Flashy yeah. player gets up in the face of his opponents. He's not afraid of anything. Yeah. You want to just talk about a completely different player for a moment? I was uh, I woke up this morning. I uh, stretched my arms like, oh yes, what a great day to be alive. And then I opened my PC. What do I see? My boy Alacrity from Southeast Asia playing Mipo. Oh, oh yeah. What a good day. First time back. picking these quals. Did he win? Uh, yes, he did. He, oh. I think they went on to lose the series, which is sad, but <laughs> I think he won the Meepo mm. game. Uh, I was kind of nice to see he bought the eggs as well with the new dig. Two years. Um, oh, is that the one where you, you go underground, you're like invincible, like stone form from Visage kind of deal? Yeah, exactly. But they they really hyper buffed it in the last patch where it doesn't have channel time anymore. That was like probably my biggest ah. a grievance with it previously i was just like bros this thing is on a 50 second cooldown and if i use it and it gets cancelled it goes on cooldown like like as like as not false it was a silence a stun or it was bad design can it's you great. guess the word yeah, well, based sucks, on man. this clues the rival of horde and the worst team in delta 2 right now it kind of still sucks in the early game which is annoying uh which is why i think a lot of people still aren't picking the hero but it was really <laughs> cool uh to see them play it in that match oh and are we going we're blessed we're blessed all right I nearly stopped. I, too. Yeah, you're lucky. You, you got out. Uh, if you watch the live play Anthony yesterday, yesterday like they played minutes, That's what very good, especially by Lion's Den. Oh, pause the game. Pause the game. I'm cutting the internet. Not even a copium. No, if you actually watched it. Game one, best of three. If you're just joining us, lower bracket round one here. They did they not. Are you stupid? Goon Squad, so they're playing up against Brain. It's almost banned. Have Brian. you seen how bad Lion's has played in the last few months? Literally worse than Mega Cucks. They went even we with entity. Possible way that these lanes could go. I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I will simply narrate. Don't even what's copy going me. On. Miracle with the the last hit on the that's, range creep. That's my job. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's only. Uh, I was about to get what do we got? Miracle oh, void. Oh, the rebound in onto mind control. And then run away. Okay. All right. So, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Where's first blood Profit. Ah. I think bottom lane. Okay. I also think bottom lane. Really hope what Team is, Star wins he here. <laughs> He's a profit. Get the first blood or be first blood in. And he got two physical get cores uh, with profit. Right. I think the Normally does speaky B right click because he's a noob. Mind control. Down as much as they can. Uh, now he actually has to show talent in, right? and if skill with the hero. In I'm very interested to see what he buys. Um, she'll probably just die if she does it on low health. She doesn't want to risk that. So if you can just harass her, keep her off the lane, then when she hits that level two timing, it makes it much harder for them. They are they do have a salve though, which means that they should be able to be fine for that timing that they feel they can go in. Yeah, we we definitely see how difficult it is though to to contest pulls and reset lane equilibrium in that bot lane against Treants, against Fisher. Mm. Up at top looks a little a little better for Brain. Pudge ten and five. Storm is way up the last hit shot. Miracle six and one having a few struggles, but like you said, he's a he's a slow starter. Uh, he blooms a little later as Nande does get that first blood in the bottom lane on guys, mind control. Who said it was the best profit? Well, tonight they hit level two. <laughs> okay. I'm really surprised they got it so deep in the lane, but yeah, I mean, good good dive. The ability, the heroes have really good range on their spells uh, to do it. Nah, he's good, guys. He's good. Want to watch this? Yeah, teeping straight on the SF. Trinance on the right hand side, so no body blocks coming. Uh, back trees. in potential with the mangoes, but oh, that's more GH it. choking on the tango over to the SF as another big juicy wave gonna arrive in front of his tier one. And that is that that ebb and flow of the lane. You, know, you push, you pull, you drag back, then it pushes straight back into the SF again. Yeah, sad for mind control that the the I mean he had to summon the triants and they're like on the other side of the fissure, but a great Fernande and they're gonna be super uh, uh. right now on GH. All the fairy fires up. They'll turn and try and kill him. The treants block. Mind control back. He puts it out. Did everyone see it? I saw it. 
He's awake. He pussy died a bit. Really it's gonna cringe. Oh, Am my I careful. mind control? He's, 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 he's diving. He's got tree and he's trying to scout out this SF. There's no way to cut through the trees. Wow. He's trying to raise himself out of here, but MC, he'll have it. <laughs> nice, best profit. for the nature's profit. There is nothing scarier on this earth than getting ready to take a, a wave of creeps under your tower and they suddenly get glyphed. You're like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god, what do I do? Oh, yeah. True. Good pressure. They nearly got that earth sugar kill. Would have been nice and kind of helped stop that from happening, but... Come back with full health and mana. And up top, Kuro had the little cyclone creep. Put it onto the pudge, which was very irritating. As a whirlwind following uh, him around. Miracle but doing pretty story here. good. Similar Wave has been pushed in towards him, so Eleven is going to get himself some... All the Eleven? Under tower. Uh, uh, he's having yeah, he's creeps under tower, like, the whole lane, it feels like. He's having a really good time. Yeah. Yeah, like, the first two or three minutes, it felt like, just looking at the CS board anyway... Okay, minus 100 gold force. starting to pull out okay. ahead pretty heavily. Enigma have done a, a decent job catching back up. Mm -hmm. Nature's Prophet really the only one lacking at this current moment in time. Oh, they're going I in. Telekinesis oh, Bakuro. No, no. I've got this hook still. Doesn't even need it, though. 11. <laughs> Sets it down with the rock while down a bottom lane. They will find MC uh, again man. with this Marcy SF combo. We're tipping him because he's... Hand in both of the side lanes. His Prophet died while he's camping middle like an idiot. Gave up bot just to go on mid. Oh, too early. Breed, so tip him back. In, swings forward. Ah, uh, they can because it's Haram. So even if they're they definitely should tip there though. Got that. that death prophet in the mid getting the kill on the pugna. GH did a good job of body blocking the pugna, even though the the fisher didn't completely wall him into the river. Nice hook. Grabs Kuro. He's just wow. come back into this lane. I don't know if they can finish him. Oh, oh yeah, my god, it's so bad. Can. Drag him away from the tower. That's really Nothing bad. Miracle can do to really combat that. Get some hits in onto. Oh, if he gets a he kill though. Bash, but it's just not coming. It's One more hit. Points. There oh, it is. Okay. Two points okay. in the bash. We'll find the kill at long last. I thought Kurt was washed up. Again. And choking, this time but looking it's good. for Spartan. Exo from Sumail pressuring tower with the early catapult. Enigma. Wow. They're done with brains, ladies and gentlemen. These lanes are broken down <laughs> six minutes in. They just come for the mid tower push with MC here as well. My god, I talked about wishes ability to push towers, but yeah, we're not going to use good as well. well. Hey, this is a classic nature's profit maneuver. I didn't even. should have thought about it, to be honest. But we, we, we did. We just didn't think it would come so soon. Oh, we were yeah. talking about how they get a kill, they get a team fight when they push towers. But yeah, sure. They, they don't necessarily need any of those things. Just get on top of the objectives. I think uh, Brame, at least, I will say, mm. doing a very, very good job of punishing the side lanes. Yeah, it's a pretty hard profit lane, I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, Yamp into sure, lift, you just die. Sure, you're going mid to kill whiff, but what, what is Nande and Spartan doing in the meantime? They're Nande, doing, like, oh? You're talking about Nande, oh? Like, 11 and uh, Desire top lane, the any time Kuroki moves out of position, they just kill him. I think... Uh, Desire's done a really good job in the top lane of keeping the, the camps blocked and like contesting them mm. a lot. It's like one of the reasons why Pudge has a lot of experience as well. Just mm. kind of keeping out of his way, letting him farm under the tower, stopping Chen from hey, doing what whatever he wants. So they, they trapped that? two pretty good lanes. It's making sure Chen doesn't get the free farm of the jungle, which we've seen previously from these Chens. It gets him the fast mech. And Sumail, his rotation <laughs> will lead to nothing. Well, it forces the TP hey, from Rubik's and the Pudge away from the creep wave, so I guess it at least releases Miracle, allows him to get some creep kills. Yep. Okay, farm Shadow Fiends. Sad to have your rotation not work out, but the good thing about it is that you aren't losing your mid tower as a result, like you're not being pressured because you took that tower. Action's the coming! Pushed in. Pugna's kind of just like farming and not taking Requiem. your tower. Nah, TP! Health. Does get the ulti out and goes for the TP. Anything to stop it? And GH already spent okay, his fish, okay. so that's a nah. Uh, they're gonna push bottom now with DP, I guess. Insta pressure middle. A, a good amount of farm on these core heroes, our brain. Oh. But I, like I was saying at the start of the game, Spartan, it, it always worries me when I look at him at 500 net worth with a sentry and two tangos in his inventory, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure it. they're gonna have space to give a lane to their supports on brain. Getting all towers. Maybe someone like Rubik could sit bot and deep I the, Google gun you. the wave later, but I think Nanda is just kinda happy to take these these camps, swing to bot, push that wave out, go back into the jungle. They have a ward down on both teams, but uh, most pretty good for Team Star. A little bit too even though. They need to be starting the stomp soon. The loser is eliminated. Can you imagine the 
the Twitter responses if they lose. Enigma had the vision. They saw it coming, so MC's already TP'd away, and they're playing into mid again. MC getting drained of his life through the decrep of Wish. Not enough to kill him while on the high ground. The DP gets disposed oh. back in towards the SF, but it's Sumail who's fighting Max back harder speech. than Brame imagined. And now this this map starts to become really, really tight and confined for Brame, with both <gasps> mid and bot tier ones going down. The ward coverage from Nigma allowing them to, to play into that bottom jungle. This then, by extension, allows Miracle just to free farm wherever he wants to go. He ult him. Chrono. There's no way you kill over Chrono. Or? And he's pretty tanky, he is. Any helpers? Flash heap off. You can just click E when he no, sucks. Damage from the bashes. E? Add in the spirit siphon. But a good save. <laughs> I can't. Throws them back. I'm watched up, but I can see that's not happening. Back into that bottom jungle. Just all Miracle off. is literally the I'm best player off, in the world. And it's not even killing me. I'm watched up, and I saw it not happening. Am I a god gamer? I, I'm feeling. I'm definitely feeling. Am I not watched up? In this game, I think a bunch of his moves have not worked out. The one mid where they took that tower was great, but this is like the I second time be, he's come uh, top now and not managed to get a kill. Oh, yeah. Better than Levin is getting this top tower for free. He's getting a chrono expended on him. He's living through it. He's keeping his life. I love his itemization of this Vanguard, Ring of Protection, and the Wraith Band. So he has so much armor coming out, more oh, than yeah. like a typical Pudge on top of that damage uh, resistance from Flesh Heap. So great Damn, space creation top. They're getting so much farm on all that cores. I mean, it's. A slight net worth lead for Nigma, and that, that is the gap that we obviously see with Kuro and GH mm -hmm. getting a lot more farm than their counterparts. So uh, we have the they're Chen not Neck. winning, guys. We're starting to work to guys, the Blink Dagger Team the Star is behind. Up 700 gold so and then the loser bracket. And these are, these are for TI. That can turn the tide of battle. Yeah, they got mad timings <laughs> as well. Like just in general, even though <laughs> no, that no, Kuro no. didn't work out, they understand oh, their no, no. ability to, to pressure this Pudge now a little bit better. Next Chrono, they can maybe use for something else. Or just bring more heroes. Copium, it's Kuroko's fault. Well. Invis Rubik top. They're just looking at Miracle. Yeah, just giving him a stare down. So Masked Manus treads into Maelstrom for him as GH did to, did to the Shadow Fiend once more. Mm -hmm. GH is trying Killing to find the other pockets nice. but Brain did an exceptional job of making sure that he's not getting any closer to that blink. Wow. And yeah, what's the, uh, what's the reasoning behind Mom over Midas here? Is Miracle just wanting to play faster with the rest of his team? Drooping. Maybe his lane just didn't go as he hoped. Oh, mid lane, the blast on Kuro. Mech buys him a little bit of space, but Spartan mm -hmm. able to finish the job off with Wish. And they got two tires early. Low, allowing MC to TP forward, catch out the Marcy, no Ooh, rebound. So close to available to escape. Uh, yeah, I've, when it comes to this Marcy Madness, to go back to what you asked, it, it's definitely something that I've seen Voids go when they're struggling. Because yeah, the, they use the, the life uh, What is Prophet buying? Because otherwise you just sit in the lane. If he's going to right click, I'm going to be very mad. Midas, you just sit in the lane. But this it definitely went quite poorly for them. I think they did a good job on Brain of just pressuring, killing Kuroki, making the lane difficult and uncomfortable. God, they're smoking top again. If they don't connect on a meaningful kill. Okay. It's a good this is going to be block. good. Big kill. It should be the end of 11 now. Pudge gets the dismember out. He's incredibly tanky, <laughs> nearly taking GH with him. Need to the Big kill. Kuro to make sure they're all topped up. I can translate this into a tower. It looks like uh, I can, yeah. But like in the meantime, we've got this SF who has a mom himself. Going into that Dragon Lance. A very fast farmer, this Shadow Fiend. Closing in on 7k, just 13 minutes in. This uh, Pugna definitely hasn't played out the way I thought it would. I I thought he would be the one pressuring mid tower and, and being blade, the one that helps take top, but he's actually Dragon played Lance. a lot around mid. It's sort of nice in a way, just because it... And Dag, uh, very manly build. ...attention away from the Pudge early on, and this SF is recovering. I mean, his lane was fine. Marcy honest, net worth. Pretty good, actually. Yeah. But, yeah, they've kind of just been skirmishing yeah, that's around a problem. And supports and stuff. And letting people do their thing. You're not going to um, win the long run like, if you're Nygma, supporting they put no this farm. At the, the so entrance stop to the pretending. river. So they're just going to see any hero that decides to go up there to farm. Because sometimes what t heroes will do is they TP top or they walk top. And they don't show on the wave there, even though it's kind of pushing in. They'll just farm the hard camp and hide and wait and see if they can get a kill like that. Um, so this nice combo. Nigma always he takes literally no stuff. damage. If they can go for a kill there, if they can go for smoke. Um, they've got that sentry on that high ground cliff, so they know there's no ward there. Something, There's nothing scouting them. I don't think Brame have 
really invaded e. their jungle. Also, I don't think they think there's Entry any buying either. So I think top is pretty secure for nice. right now. Yeah, I approve. <laughs> they already brute force mid and bottom lane so they can and breathe a oh, mind control. Caught by the rebound, dispose again. Spartan <laughs> and Nande pairing up beautifully to find that kill, but the escape might not be as easy. Chrono oh, is here, ready for nice. Fear them away. The stun. The unleash, finds they need helper though. Nanda. Action's coming. They don't have damage. Double. No deep build. Never mind. Enigma not wanting to chase any further because the re like the reactions from Brain, they're bringing two additional heroes down here. They want to continue fighting. Enigma kind of stuck on an island. A good time walk from Miracle. Gets him away. But the pressure on the tower will come regardless. Oh, that yeah, is a good it's, stick. It's Just good hiding behind the trees. I, the, Getting fisher is huge. You know, you think you're gonna die there. They're, they're kind of <sighs> trying to pinch you. I think you're coming from Deep below. Fields. Faces were coming from above. It's kind of like you're in a, a lose lose situation. But yeah, hiding. Thank you. Just using easy. that vision advantage. Like as well. Hiding yourself with that all. What it turns into a kill. Turns into a live. Like that's really nice. And I think now Nigma just. Try to aim for some timing where they think they can take a good fight. They oh, need to no, be no. on the DP. 2k uh, lead. They, I mean, they can they, they can look for pickoffs with this this orchid. I think mind control. He's finishing one, that soon in the next like 100 gold. Um, this as well. Like GH is slowly working his way towards that blink dagger. He has to seed this farm bot to the faceless wood. I think who's also pretty poor. Yeah, kind of in catch up mode. It, it sucks when all your heroes are kind of clawing for some money. Like Kuroki playing Chen, who's like a naturally greedy support as well. Generally, you want to steal like enemy farm space with a hero like Chen or Enchantress. Almost eggs. At least he has his mechs. So he's kind of like, cool, nice. cool, I'm done. Yeah. And now you just let really your heroes have the space. I mean, Samil probably also itching to use this Exo to, to get stuff done, but he's going to have to sit back a little bit. Uh, he made it deniable, take though. Take a backseat in this game for the next few minutes. Why is Spartan denying it? get that farm going. But yeah, that moved down. You never make also, it deniable. That Eleven was able to push out a couple of waves top, got into the jungle, farmed himself to. You deny to so much gold if you deny it. He's basically basically got done. And you already. get gold. Oh yeah, you just finished it. Coming on courier. That's so like carry have... punch timings. Yeah, I'm just thinking now. Like, do they have? Are they ready to go? We're about to finish a vessel on Pugna. I mean, they're smoking on Nigma now. They they do have the Chrono. Like, they can definitely take a good fight. It feels like they need to. Yeah, the, the Orchid is, is done on mind control, which is a. Even though Quals is not done yet, well, who this, this do you think is the biggest contender to win this year? If they win a fight here, get two, three kills. Nice. They could think about Rush. They could think <sighs> about Scorpion. these big objectives on the map. Spartan is going to be the one that breaks OG. the smoke. Good silence from Samail though. Catches them both. The supports are down. Okay, one down. Landing on SF. They have damage. The Orchid. That high ground as they sprout and catch Nande. Oh, he's got ace. Save from which gets him away. He's hasted. Speedy SF. Oh wow. Oh no, that was one of these huge saves. Find the extra kill. Oh, still good though. So Acceptable. Uh, oh, we want Team Star to win. With her life, good, good. From danger as well. I blocked the oh, hook. So uh, treated because he's the best problem in the world. <laughs> I was gonna correct you, like, oh, uh, actually, it was so. three deaths. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. I mean, it's not ideal that you didn't get the SF, but it's definitely a successful smoke. Um, any, any kind of move. Ryan. Hello. A little bit of Thank you. From your map and gives you that gold from kills. It's gonna be alright, but you can definitely make moves now that Chrono's down. That's uh, the thing, that's... though. Like, does it alleviate pressure? Like, no, you spend it doesn't. All your... <laughs> I lied to you. <laughs> I lied to you. You spent all your cooldowns, got a couple of kills, and uh, again, you know, we pointed out this during the draft. They just wait to respawn and go yeah. out on the map to play the game. Get the Roshan. Get the Aegis in the hands of the SF. Wow. He's going to Requiem the Roshan as well to make sure... Really? He thought they were coming? No stealing at all. Without any ults? Alright, well... You know, it alleviated pressure from just one a spell. minute while they did the spell. Just a spell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just during that one moment... Free CS, baby. Yeah, free farm for Miracle. He's got his Maelstrom now. I'm trying to work on that BKB. DB's about to have hers. Uh, Miracle's quite far off his... Uh, so is mind control. Frame, I would say with this Aegis, they can use their Pugna to take top tier two if they want. Looks like they're already angling up there with other heroes a bit, but they're taking it kind of slowly. You don't have Echo Slam. You don't have Exorcism. This would have been a good moment to kind of brute force it, but I think they just... If team, my teams are struggling with Brain. That's kind of scary. There's a lot of... And, and get busted. Scary opponents up ahead. You've got to play a little bit safe. 
Not shaker. Ah, Saf doesn't know the meaning of safe. Just pushing uh, out I waves, like your getting mom. up in that top lane. Hey, he's got the ages. He's feeling it. I actually want to get in bed now. I'm also getting a little sleepy. I think Brave still want to play for their, their map control. Because Nygma, on the other hand, like, what is their... What are the things that they can do during this Aegis? They want to keep farming. They are aware that the later the game goes, the, the stronger Miracle is. This is their win condition. The Faceless Void outcarries all. Uh, but... Uh, so he's happy to just sit in this triangle and farm as much as he can. Meanwhile, mind control with that global presence and the teleport, he's able to just split push and, and throw out these trees. If they commit all their heroes to top to try and take a tier two, I mean, GH is already set up there. He wants to defend it, it looks mm. like. And mind control is just going to pressure bot with the tree ants, and you might lose your tier two while not even taking Washed up theirs. Swedish Dota so 2 G, player. Uh, not GH, but Nigma just not me. Away. Well, yeah, I've washed up. You're right. Uh, they're, they're all aware. now. Everyone's got their ulties ready. Everything is coming to an Prepping end. Prepping with wards kind of shallow in their jungle. Try and see anyone coming. And Miracle just sticking out that triangle, like you said. An MC will TP up top. Keep that wave pushed back. And it felt like Brain maybe were in a position here where they could start invading a little deeper, hunting for the faceless void, but it's it's been a good move from Nigma to create that barrier in front of him. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's no real way to get towards him. No. All their team fight spells are up. Still level. We, we've seen how effective team eleven. Fight was. He's got level one ult. It's not very scary. Yeah. <laughs> Goon squad, yeah. Samel, the one leading the charge. Smoke breaks. Wish and desire. Another okay. good two hero oh. silence. Oh, and a cry he from got Miracle. him. Aiming straight nice. I mean, good. No one to save him now. You want them to win? And two heroes dead, just like that. DD Rune has spawned bottom lane. Uh, but it would be kind it of funny like if they Green lose. Still trying to get themselves. Back into their triangle to get control of the map again. But Chen, he just stands his ground and says, Yeah, alright, yeah, come on then. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got those creeps. Come on then, Shadow Fiend. Yeah, you're gonna keep hitting me. Oh, sidekick on SF, that's a little spooky. Come here, here, little boy. And lined it up. Rails him in. Plus strength. Spartan jumping in. Love you, sir. I'll aim for the Chen army instead. There's no void ult, so you can go aggro. All of his troops. So now another so window. All, all right, the I like you too. Expanded. No, they still got XO no, Echo no, no. Slam. They have two ultis, but the, the Chronosphere is the biggest. As long as you have a BKB up and you're not getting caught by surprise by GH, you're kind of okay. I do think they should still play GH? a little reserve. You don't want to dive tier twos because that is how you sort of start to group up by accident and then you get Echo Slammed. Um, the, the Nigma have a really good like way of disengaging Spartan. as well. Oh my. Spartan? But if you can jump the Earthshaker and stop him from jumping mm -hmm. you, great start to the fight. Blow up GH. Mind control trying to give chase. Nande thinking about the Requiem. But BKB uh -oh. to move towards 11. Gets to dismember onto Miracle. Silence oh, no, comes as struggling. well onto this Ooh. part. Miracle has to time walk away. Can't deal with the Aghanim's rock. Okay, okay. I'm uh, oh, becoming a fan of Brame. I think I want Brame to so win. Tanky. To laugh so at the Team Star it, fans. Using it as exorcism. I... I didn't think that mid jump would go well. I, I genuinely thought that they would expend the uh, the, the hand of God. Soon another vault. I thought that would be why it's hard for them to ever dive a tier two tower, but they didn't feel like using it on GH. I think just because they understand like. Did your votes? Well, which team you want to win? He's pretty quickly anyway, and he already got his Fisher off. I mean, this this game is slipping pretty quickly. There's not not much in it net worth wise, but in terms of you know, cores getting farmed, Shadowfiend is right up at the top, a good 4,000 ahead of the, the nearest counterpart in mind control. A lot of Team They've Star fans, but a lot of haters as well. A lot of haters. Mid tier two into the top jungle to grab the outpost. I mean, Nigma, yeah, you've been saying, going into late game, should have been broken. Reasonably nah. comfortable with this faceless void in their hands, but they need more time to get there. Whether it's nice to see it played. The next five, six minutes. Well, we're bound to hit the mind control BKB timing. Maybe Miracle his old fear is slightly too long. And Aegis has expired. I mean, they're, they've been using their smokes on Nigma and primarily Lathium around so the Chronosphere. Be very soon. And now that it's up again, maybe we see that again. It looks like Brahm are trying to beat out that timing and, and you know start by themselves. They smoke up first. They want to take the initiative. Because Nigma are trying to be greedy. They are trying to get a lot of net worth. So they, they're splitting their heroes on the map. Like, hmm. Void being bought. Look at Spartan. He's just, he just sprinting towards. Oh, is there a hero here? I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. <laughs> that is like, what I'm, one I'm, tends to do with a smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, he's just he's like a thousand rage ahead of any oh. of his teammates. Yeah, yeah. He's got no one to rebound off. Nothing. Oh, he doesn't even have a blink. It's very, very. Oh, he's incredibly very... poor. 
Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you were right, by the way. He is, like, position six. I've been watching his net worth on the net worth graph yeah. the whole game. Oh my god. He had, like, brown boots for the longest time. It's Spartan. <laughs> <laughs> I, rem I remember the days of him playing like Bane and not having brown boots 15 minutes in. Like that's Jesus like, Christ. That, that's, how, that's how selfless this guy has been through his career. You can't but win he Dota like great that. Huddles, great you need greedy core supports. And he is definitely the, the voice and the leader of every team he's been involved in. Yeah. It's like, oh guys, I noticed there's a sentry in stock. Don't worry, I'll fix that for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here comes the smoke. They do not have faceless void with them. His BKB is arriving now. Maybe he'll TP top or, or just connect to his team. It looks like they're just going to kind of smoke towards Void instead and play it that mm. way. Um, play off this haste rune. Nice. MC oh, set up yeah. bottom tier two as well. The, the great strength of this Prophet, similar as the, the Dawnbreakers, the Spectres mm. of the game, able to play away from your team and then TP in as they catch the Marcy. Quickly take her down. Okay. MC didn't even need to TP, so he's in stick the lead again. If he wants to. Give him a clap. Give him your energy. Uh, I think Mind Control's been doing a nice job of using the Treants to scout things as well. He's just been like sending them around the map a little bit. Like even then, I think Eleven's Pudge was scouted by a Treant, and he just like forced a little bit back. Wasn't in position to save the Marcy when they went on it. Well, it feels like they've broken past that period of of spookiness with the Aegis on the SF. Uh, Thirty seconds to wait until fast spawn, and that's where it's. It's really going to start brewing these team fights. Like if, if Brame aren't able to get a pick off and go into Roche, they, I, I, I don't know. I struggle to see them like sneaking in or going in there raw, because Nigma do have that, that, that chrono, the blink echo. You know, they've, it's, they've got it's so to, scary. <laughs> they've got to set up for Roshan rather than just go for it. They're trying to come bottom. Oh, the insta fear? Is it the strut? Requiem left across. Fear is there. Oh! Void and the heels oh. are enough. They tried with a hand of God to keep him alive. Yes. Now he's dead for 47. And Don't Roche alive in 40. Close. I think if they, they had a smoke right helping. now, they could just run back top. It's where... You know, the important stuff is. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But they, they won't have that, so they'll just kind of run instead. Uh, this gem on uh, Spartan, I really like that pickup when you're ahead or trying to play a lineup like this where you're a bit you know, afraid of getting that late game. Being able to again. limit how much vision they have especially when they're playing so many team fight Old heroes 11. to initiate and want to have mm. vision to know the targets to get like this this gem is very important i mean enigma have amazing wards right uh, down right now and have had for quite some time this one in the tribal has gone undewarded oh it's capital e duration. as well that's very cool cliff wars that's how you know he's cool this top is so secure for them versus i don't think there's any vision for for Braim. they need no. to think about how they want to tackle gang into this area as, <laughs> as roche starts to approach yeah, so it's I mean, definitely, it's one, yeah, definitely one of the struggles uh, when, okay. you know, when playing this five-man unit. Mind control, <laughs> capital R and D and L. Actually, about 12 year old. pushed out as well. Yeah, you know, uh, people running around the map trying to contend with and deal with all these issues. Super. <laughs> uh, Roshan, potential team fights open around the pit. Uh, yeah. So they use scan on, on Brame. So they knew Nigma Galaxy was playing that's out there. Cringe. Um, that's cringe. They're going to play it carefully. <laughs> yeah, I think both teams are now aware that this rush is, is the big the big thing I and they're I think they're just gonna kinda slowly poke and prod it on brain. They have the gem, they'll wanna like slowly deboard as they go. I think Nande being up like this is a bit scary. Cause yeah, this is you know, he got scouted. Miracle's literally staring at him right now. Yeah, doesn't, that wanna, doesn't wanna make the jump just yet though. Yeah, he he'll just get hooked out. It's it's really risky to do that with no vision. I mean, Another they had smoke. vision, but it, you know, it's gone now. <laughs> Time to go again? Are they just gonna wait? No, you can't just walk into the pit like this. No, no, oh, no. Oh, the treant dies. They're going for it. Wow. Nigma. That is damage. Nigma have a scan, and you, oh god, you're right. This sidekick SF doing 400 damage a pop. Oh, they're running. Roshan is really dead already. He's trying to go for the requiem, but he's been bashed up. Fisher from GH. Oh, no. they oh, the oh, the suck. oh, oh. The oh. BKB by the save with a hug. Fear me, demons of hell! Oh, I love the snatch! The storm roll, bro, 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 Oh, and so the sprout, he's away, safe from the sound. Oh, such safe. GH with another Fisher block as they buy back Marcy. Brain is legit. Pudge holds the Aegis. For real. They must spend the majority of their team penalties for this. They're buzzing today. But a minor win from Brain? That was 
That was hype. They stole the the shot on on Nick. Uh, now they know the, it's the time steal to attack. Was, was I mean, I thought he was gonna go like eight different ways. Like, okay, SF's in the pit. He's gonna get the rush. But then the Fisher from bashed. the Earthshaker. Yeah, he just he can't he can't get it. And then the... Miracle's just in there. I was so sure he had Watch that. Watch it Aegis. back. Watch it back. It was like so scary. This like total cliff on the edge. Uh, what yeah, a that great hook save. Decrep, life drain, hook save. 11 blinks in to grab the Aegis. And a stolen Chrono in the end as well from that Rubik. 11, the massive MVP of that fight. Like, not only he, not only does yep. he save the, the SF from the Chrono, but then he makes up for, like, no hero being in the pit anymore to then go and steal the Aegis. Like, what a chat. Mm. <laughs> no ults. It is definitely super sad for Nick. They're just going. They get, they get a shot. You get racks of this. You know, a little pay prize, but, like, there's... You, you just weren't like kind of set up enough. I mean, they, they stole it basically from right under your nose. They gave that yeah. one. Yeah, they're actually getting racked. Ratting, that's good. But and now really a lot on the shoulders of GH with his blink level two echo slam. Yeah. SF doesn't have Aegis. So oh! they make the move on with a quick lift. The telekinesis stops the combo. Oh my God, and 11 is in. He's in got Aegis. Well. The, oh, the life steal, oh life steal, man up. I, 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 I. now stuck up on this high ground, being drifted away. Was that the seal totem allowing yeah. him to bounce over the fisher? Miracle mm. wants blood now. Doing Desire doing it. is in the trees. Fisher is there. So the void can unload a bit of damage onto him, but the hook across into the unleashed nut. Just a bit of a poke onto Enigma. Make them feel uncomfortable. As mind control TPs forward, but won't be able to right catch click. any other retreating members of Brain. This guy's changed. They get the tier three. They lose the SF and the Aegis. Such uh, a did the X die? Is it only like Invoker right buys it or that, what? That was definitely a, a pretty poor like high ground siege from Brame. Maybe relying on or you know, Eleven's been so tanky all game. Maybe they thought he would live for much longer, but he died pretty fast with that Aegis and SF got you know, put down so low. That you're playing into no exorcism and no Chronosphere. I think they could have taken it maybe a little bit slower just to kind of you know, siege with this Pugna, not overcommit. Yeah. Now you've lost your Aegis, which feels bad. 7k. You've given Nigma time for their cooldowns to come back up. So I think, like, Nigma in a very commanding position right now. Um, you, you see already in their moves, they're just, like, taking this this triangle area, trying to get as much you know, map as they can in, in this period of, of respawn. This is the kind of mistakes that I think are going to give Miracle this way to get the Scotty, get the damage item, you know, whether he wants to go something like an MKB, a butterfly, we've seen butterfly be very effective, just more and more attack speed, more and more agi. Yeah, it's it really feels like, through. Yeah, I, I'm struggling to, to really describe my emotions on this because, oh God, Nande, always oh, been dusted, Nandi, he's inside oh. his silver edge, caught out by Miracle and some mail, they've got a hook across on the faceless void though, gets his BKB off before the dismember, uh, but the Shadow Fiend's down and out, uh, and it's collapsing guys, it's collapsing, on him, they'll find 11. And yeah, this is the beginning of the end, they have broken past the fearful phase of this game, they've got towards mid to late game now with this faceless void, it was looking like Brain were in such a dominant position with the Roshans they've taken, with a move up to high ground, but maybe handing too much to Nygma now, you, you can never get carried away. It's the one big problem. You gotta keep it, keep it tight, keep it clean. And we've seen how slow some of these games can get with these teams not wanting to give anything away. But one small mistake. Obviously, now they did use their cooldowns. Mm. It, it becomes another you're back and forth of okay, they've used Chrono, guys. We can go fight. I think SF when he respawns, he needs to just recouple his uh, you know, souls, and then maybe they could make a move. This is a Scotty finish now, a miracle. He's looking really good. I think Mind Control Scotty. as well, finishing that Bloodthorn, it really showed off uh, for them in that last fight. Just how easy it was to kill Pudge in that Chrono. He's got a Mask of Madness at least, so you can yeah. right click. And it's in 20. And it's this Faceless Void just feels like such a trump card, you know? Men are buying Sanch and Yasha with scaling. He's got Scotty. two fight contribution through Chrono. Oh. And it's, it's always one of those uh, one of those kind of safety nets you have here as Enigma having overwhelming team fight through him and the Earthshaker. Oh no, Brame. Nande. He goes up high ground, Yo. hits into Sumail a couple of times. But look at GH. No Eyes on him. Wait for that blink echo slam. He's hidden. There's no vision. Oh, but they have spotted him. They get a bit of ward coverage on the high ground and trying to play towards Miracle's okay, void. Try. I don't know about this. Member, but the BKB okay. comes okay. with a stolen Chrono onto Sumail. Locks him in place, but they found the Rubik kill. Snipe him in the back, and Sumail's too tanky to contend with. Spartan tries to unleash. And Shadowfiend thinking about the Requiem. 
Bream trying to reset. Great by this could Marcy be nice. Requiem Fear pushing mind control back, but GH uh, with these fishes and the shard, he's just chain stunning people for days. He's got the force uh, and the link of the echo. He's got the two of them locked in place. And Nigma, they've got the two of them. It was a good try, though. Sure. Get him a clap. It was two a good try. He's gone. The chase for more. Oh, the hook will try and save the Rubik, but it's not going to work. The stolen echo slam looks fancy, but doesn't do a damn thing. A triple for Sumail. He's going to be crowned the king of this game now as they break up high ground. Look for these tier two towers in the middle lane. Maybe push up top for the tier threes. As they've killed all five of Brame. Now you could definitely take... Uh, got a lot of racks here. There's not very many uh, buybacks. You have 30 seconds till SF's up, but that's without souls. So they can take this top here, maybe then swing around to the mid tier two at the least if they want to play it carefully. But Chrono's back up, Gary. This is you're respawning into a Chrono sphere. They're starting oh, to no. play their cooldowns well, the right way. Like, Very impressive. Okay, Chrono's down. Now we got you with the Echo Slam. Now Let's Echo lose Slam. A bracket, now we got you with the Chrono. Ulti cycling to perfection. Yeah. Samel right. with his Exo takes top lane. Mid tier two is easy, and they just walk up the ramp. Uh, doesn't feel good to be a brain fan right now, but they they still got they still got tools. You know, if there's a chrono sphere, but they still have the punch up to save from it. You have the the pugna saves potentially as well. But this is uh, looking like maybe another rax here if they can't stop them. Ah, uh, miracle! Just gonna shrug it off. Uh, two lanes of barracks for Nigma. Really hitting their stride now. Mind control swiftly down to bottom to push that lane in. And brain. They've spent so many of their smokes. They've got one on the Marcy. It feels like they've got to do something here to get in behind Nigma, find the Earthshaker, stop that surprise initiation. Oh, Empty by Nullifier. Uh, it's going to spike, I guess. Here. And it's good Risky to dispel Marcy. Requiem left this member in. They found Miracle. They've got the okay. Void. Beautifully Doubters. Hand of God will try and keep mind, mind control alive, but that's not working. Haters out. rejoice. It's still possible. We can laugh at uh, uh, Team Star. Ground. That area control with the SFO is so Ooh. sick. Just like no one can really get in and save him because everyone's feared. It's oh, very nice. And just being able to cover it as well. How many times they've done this game where Desire just gets that lift off, which just makes sure that they cannot react at all to the 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 ult. I know they were doing that earlier. I, d I didn't check if they did it then. <laughs> but but Man, yeah, super well cute. executed. Good defense. I was getting worried because I was like, yeah, they don't really have that typical team fight spell like a black hole or. You know, the Echo Slime Chronosphere, things that kind of ensure that you can fight back like that. But yeah, they, they use that. <laughs> Actually, Bane. Well. Gives so them a nice. bit of breathing room. <laughs> they still have Chrono when they respawn on Nigma though. And, and Brame do recover their gem. It was left on the deck in the Radiant Triangle, so they've managed to find that back. Two and a half minutes for next Roshan as well. So yeah, it's plenty of time for Nigma's cooldowns to come back up. Maybe even get, get a team fight. Use them, mm. reset, and then go Roche for the next K. round. Uh, it's going to be a Roche felt fight. like seeing those previous fights, Brain really struggle when their initial jump goes poorly. Because we saw Nande just walk in and start to click away. And you had this like Rubik, uh, Rubik Chronosphere onto the DP. But I think Void kind of jumped away. And he just sort of altered the, the quick... You know, snappiness of, of Brame's initiation, and because it, it elongated how long the fight went off, like the BKB started to run out, everyone was sort of starting to be a little bit out of position for all this team fight, and it just kind of, hmm. I don't know, put Brame on edge, and they had to kind of start to run away, and everything sort of fell apart. <laughs> it feels like they really need this sort of. Looks like the hopes of Brain were like kindled lane. It feels like they really need that quick jump and kill. Like they, someone's dismembered, and then they're dead, or someone is, is requiemed, and then they're dead. Right, anything that goes longer, you start to be a threat of all this DP damage, this Chronos Slam. Lame. Even like my control it. now is just scaling as that third core where he has yeah. the nullifier and the bloodthorn. Yeah, but it might have been Hex. It's ready. Yeah. But a great oh, close oh. game. Oi, Tiffin, <laughs> I'm making me click hero. Back in my days, you had like so many things. Decision making, spell usage. Positioning like oh, cool a million guy. things. All right, here we go. All spells up. Ooh, Everyone's baby. ready. Eleven pudge blinks away. Caught, but dragged away. Okay, with get out. Telekinesis and out. dispose. Spartan is open. So they'll chase him down instead. 
And now Brahim a little separated, and Nande has to TP away. Do you think Dande is like terrified as as his Marcy is just running directly behind him in his direction? It's like, can you run somewhere else, please? You're leading <laughs> everyone towards me. <laughs> go south, go south. Okay, go the use exorcist is not for Roche now. This is this it, guys? Crawling with Nigma heroes though. So they're obviously they're losing on brain, but you think the Roche fight? Control, uh, no exorcist. This is it. MC grabbing outpost down bottom. I think anytime you're brain, as long as they're, if they're using their smokes and they're not getting a core kill, I think you can be pretty happy with that as brain. Oh, he's Hold your pogs. He seeing my uh, we did letting them have ages. Okay, go next. Have eyes on him. Oh! Kill off the nature's profit. But I think that's a price Nigma are willing to pay. Two heroes, three heroes showing bottom means Roshan is a freebie for them. It is. They it heads can up make though, it though. Mind control has been bought the entire game. Which Only is one. Really good because he's constantly applying pressure. He's making Only one. about that lane. He's making it so that you know Bremo committing a Rubik to the bot lane and stuff throughout the mid game instead of being able to run as five. But yeah, at one point, at some point, you recognize the pattern. Okay, he's gonna be there. Let's go get gank him. And it was a really nicely executed gank. Oh my god, no eleven. Oh my god, yeah, miracle. Just goes in with a chrono, the axe, the stolen chrono back. Spartan's already dead. And He's alive, the suck. KB with a life drain healing him, but Wished becomes the focus of Miracle now. There's another fight in the back uh, as well. There's three focus fights going on. Places. Nande. Oh, he oh. away from this. He spent everything. No Silver Edge and no Hurricane Pike, but he has the life drain until the stuns come. GH and Miracle landing the fishes and the bashes right when they needed to. They tried. Oh, yeah, they got that. nullify now on mind control that makes the save from wish so much harder to, to put out i mean they're, they're dealing too much damage for this pugman life drain to, to mitigate as well there's no buyback on sf so that means exo from sumail will lead to mega creeps mind control tp's back across after buying back himself haters we got desolator there for mc we are the haters at? these buildings <laughs> miracle trying to Take down the nether ward, but it's poking at Wish a little bit there. Try to put this game out of contention now. It's Agonim's Void, incredibly irritating with his shard on top of it. Just time walking, rewinding, pushing on his way through. And tier uh, It was actually a little scary Open game. Season if you were a Team Star fan, I'd be worried now. And close out game it was one, definitely losable. Minutes in. 20 more seconds for SF. They almost lost his brain. Bashing, cruising, like what are they gonna do when they face GH the real team? Block, keeping them in their fountain and Miracle Secrets. Yeah, just time walks in and clears out the Rubik. GG Alliance. game one is done. And Nigma after. Maybe a Goon shaky squad. start in the first 15 minutes. Exceptional play from Brame. Nigma come back with their overwhelming team fight capabilities. Indeed, yeah, they definitely executed their lineup to to what it wanted, right? They tried to play it kind of safe. You know, we need this Faceless Void to get his items. Whenever he has Chrono, I think they did a really good job of bringing him and getting him involved and, and using that spell. Obviously, they had a lot of problems around, you know, on the uh, way. I nice. would say it was a flawless game. There was... Uh, is anyone still here?